Hey, it's TV Tech HD, and today I'm going to be going over the Sony XBR75X910C. I left a link in the description below to get a great deal on this TV, and you also read the user reviews and see exactly what other people are experiencing with it. So be sure to check that out. So I'm going to jump right into it. This model has a 75 inch LED screen and it's edge lit. So that means that the LEDs are positioned around the perimeter of the screen and the light spreads behind the LED panel. So given the large 75 inch screen size and the fact that this is a 4K Ultra HD TV, the optimal viewing distance is going to be about 8 feet. So this is where you're going to see the most detail and get the most immersive viewing experience. And that's not to say that the TV won't look great beyond 8 feet, but like I said, that's just a sweet spot. So this TV has excellent viewing angles at 176 degrees, so it's great for living room setups where you might be sitting off to the side, because you won't get those washed out colors like you see with some models. So one of the main features that enhances the picture quality on this model is a triluminous display. And what this feature does is it creates more natural shades of colors, due to the wider color gamut. So compared to non-triluminous displays, you definitely get richer and more vibrant and realistic colors. Uh, so the reds will be more vivid and lifelike, and all of this hard to reproduce greens and blues look much more natural. So this model has Motion Flow XR 960, and what this feature does is it virtually gets rid of any motion blur if you have it enabled by inserting three artificial frames in between each frame. So the result is little to no motion blur. I recommend leaving this feature enabled when you're watching sports because it just makes it a much more immersive experience. Uh, for other content, it's kind of a personal preference, so check it out and see if you like it. If not, just disable it. So obviously one of the biggest contributors to the picture quality is that 4K resolution. It has 8,294,400 pixels on the screen at the same time, so you get extremely high pixel density, and the result is a very sharp picture. You get your face right up to the screen, it will still look extremely sharp and clear. As opposed to 1080p, when you're getting in close, you start to see that image distortion and pixelation going on. So this model also has 4K upscaling, so all of your non-4K content will be automatically upscaled for you to 4K resolution. Obviously this isn't going to look as good as watching native 4K content, but it's definitely a huge improvement. So this model uses the Android TV Smart TV interface. It's definitely one of the better ones out there because you just have a lot of different things you could do. Of course you'll have your YouTube, Netflix, and Hulu, and you'd also browse the web, and tons of other internet based content. So one of the cool features about the Android TV is you cast content from your mobile device right up to the TV. So it definitely comes in handy and it just makes for an awesome experience. Android TV also supports voice search, so you can just search movies, for example Jurassic Park or romantic comedy set in New York, stuff like that. And you could also just search for the weather, and there's just endless possible voice commands you could use with this interface. So the design is one of my favorite things about this Sony, it's just extremely sleek and minimalistic. As you can see, there's hardly any bezel whatsoever. In fact, when you're at your normal viewing distance, you won't even notice the bezel is there, so it definitely enhances the immersiveness. So the profile is also extremely thin at just 1.97 inches. And the TV weighs 74.3 pounds without the stand and 77.38 pounds with the stand. As for the inputs, there's one subwoofer out, four HDMI ports, two analog audio, one component, two composite, a headphone output, an RF in, and a digital audio output. And it also has that RJ45 Ethernet port. So to conclude, I really like what I'm seeing with this Sony. It's definitely a step above previous models due to the design and that extremely thin bezel. Be sure to check out the link in the description below to get a great deal on this model and you can read all of the user reviews and see what other people are saying about it. I hope you found this quick overview helpful.